Latham here. Today we are going to take a look at the insect bow. We will compare the different arrows, along with some of the different gear options and the sharpshooter mutation. And afterwards, we will see exactly what each of these options provides for us in the backyard. Let's get started. The insect bow is a tier 2 weapon that can be crafted at a workbench. It costs 2 spider chunks, 2 spider fangs, and 2 spider silk to craft. The insect bow has several arrow options, the basic arrow, which is just your standard arrow and is fairly easy to craft. Next is the venom arrow. This one deals poison damage to the target over time, but I'm mostly curious to see if any of the buffs actually amplify the poison damage as well. Next is the gas arrow. This arrow creates a toxic cloud in the area of impact, similar to the toxic cloud the stink bugs create. Again, we are going to see if our damage buffs apply to the toxic cloud. Lastly is the feather arrow. This arrow deals more damage than the basic arrow. Now there's also the lure arrow, but we're going to ignore that in our test today. We'll also compare these damage numbers while we have a marksman's cap and eye patch equipped. Then follow it up with the sharpshooter mutation and see how everything compares. First thing we will do is get a baseline for each arrow with no armor or mutations equipped. We'll be using this orb weaver for our testing today. First, the basic arrow. Then the feather arrow. The venom arrow. And lastly, the gas arrow. Now I've shortened it in this clip, but both the Venom and Gas Arrows took 15 seconds to do full damage. Now that we have our baseline, let's equip the Sharpshooter Mutation and see just how much of a difference it makes. We can immediately see an increase in damage. One thing I did note though is the Venom and Gas Arrows, they only increased by the impact of the arrow. The damage over time aspect did not increase. And now we will disable Sharpshooter and equip the Marksman Cap and see what our results are here. Looking at the Basic Arrow and the Feather Arrow, we can see that it is an increase in damage from default, not quite as much as Sharpshooter. And if we throw on our eye patch, run the same test, we can see that it is actually just slightly less than the Marksman Cap. Now if we equip the Marksman's Cap and the Sharpshooter Mutation, we can see an even higher damage. So we do know that they do stack, but it appears they do have diminishing returns. When we compare just the feather arrows, we can see a little bit more of the difference. And on this situation, I counted just the missing pixels. For the default arrow, there are 60 missing pixels, 75 for marksman, 80 for sharpshooter, and 100 for the marksman and sharpshooter combined, which this translates into a 25, 30, and 40% damage increase. But that concludes our breakdown for the insect bow. Now that you have a better idea of the damage buffs, with the 30% bonus to sharpshooter, is it worth ditching the full set bonus of your armor to equip a marksman's cap and gain an additional 10% damage with your bow? That's a tough choice. Let me know what you think in the comments. Also, comment which weapon you'd like me to break down next. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. <laughs>